everyone my name is dilip you are watching the data labs in this video we will discuss about the calendar control which i have developed in uh, vva so uh, before moving ahead let's discuss why this calendar control is important and why should you use this calendar control so as we know uh, microsoft uh, also provide the date and time picker okay so after excel 2010 uh, uh, if i am not wrong then uh, calendar picker and calendar control uh, uh, is not available by default you need to uh, install uh, you need to download the active control then install this to your system and then you will be able to uh, use that control okay so suppose uh, you are developing a uh, like automation uh, like automated uh, software in excel a spreadsheet application and you are going to distribute uh, uh, that automated application to different users right so, and uh, as you have already downloaded the ActiveX control like calendar control and uh, uh, date and time picker then that software will uh, work perfectly at your system but problem will occur when you will distribute that application to different users because uh, again you will have to guide all those users how to install uh, how to download the ActiveX control basis there uh, Microsoft Office Microsoft Office uh, 32 bit or 62 64 bit application and basis that user need to download uh, the activex control and install that uh, activex control to to use your software and uh, suppose uh, like there are only uh, 10 to 15 users so you can easily guide all of them how to download uh, activex control and install that activex control to your system and start using that so that will not create problem it will be like believe it's a easy task and it's a doable right so the problem will if the user user the group of user will have like more than 20 users even 50 users or 250 users because see if you are working in a corporate environment then uh, like more than 100 user will be a normal like as a uh, general scenario okay so in that case it will be very difficult for you to ask everyone to download such a activex control and install at their application because there might be some uh, security issue because a couple of users will not be able to download and install they will have to contact IT department to download uh, that specific uh, file and install at their systems and that will create a problem because it will take time it will take manpower as well and it will take effort as well so in that case people user will not be able to use your uh, like the software which you have developed after putting a lot of effort okay so my suggestion is rather than uh, going uh, with the date and time picker or a calendar function of uh, calendar control provided by microsoft you should design your own calendar in normal uh, form because normal form will easily work on each and every system whether it's uh, uh, office version is 2033 or it's a 2010 or it's a 2000 uh, 16 it will not create any problem because see uh, it's a normal form is available in all different versions of uh, uh, office without any compatibilities right so in that case uh, uh, i will recommend you to use uh, form based calendar control and uh, and that will be very easy you can easily develop and use in your uh, project so here i have already developed an uh, uh, custom calendar control with the help of VVA code and Microsoft form so this is handy tool you can uh, use this calendar in your project if you are going to uh, develop any uh, project or if you are working on a project ongoing project you can easily use this tool and use this calendar control it's very very easy and there is no need to worry about the accuracy and all the things because I have already tested this uh, calendar function on uh, like several scenarios and several environments and it's working perfectly so as of now i have uh, only provided uh, the past one year and next 50 years okay so it's fully customizable you can customize this calendar control and you can add or uh, increase or decrease the number of years uh, after uh, changing the value of a variable so i will show you how we'll do so let's close this and go to visual basic and you can visual basic you can see that um, uh, these this is a design mode of form which i have used and just go to uh, code view and now go to upside you can see that uh, these are the codes which i have written 
So this this code uh, has been written in very neat and clean way. So uh, each and a, every variable you can easily identify what is the purpose of uh, these variables and how it's uh, uh, where we are uh, using these variables. Okay, and uh, uh, wherever I think there should be some comment, then I have provided the comments so that you can easily make the changes. Okay, and also this code is very neat and clean, so you can easily uh, uh, easily uh, identify uh, what is the purpose of uh, the procedure and how uh, what is the purpose of a, a specific variable. Okay, so there are a lot of procedures and functions uh, to uh, uh, doing a different tasks like validation, uh, validating and uh, checking. Okay, and user inputs, uh, assigning the date to a specific uh, objects and all the things. So you can go through all the codes and make modification basis on your requirement, right? So, uh, one thing I believe I should explain here, uh, adding or removing years because uh, this calendar control provides by default one year back and 50 years uh, future. So, uh, you will find like there is a procedure sub add year. So, in this uh, procedure, I have declared two variables. One is I current, uh, uh, I previous year and one is I last year, right? So, if you want to see uh, uh, more uh, the back year like currently it's showing only for only one year if you want to see uh, five years back uh, data uh, calendar then just replace one with the five years right and again if you want to see the calendar for next 100 year or 150 years then just replace the 50 with 150 or 100 years as per your requirement and uh, there is nothing uh, need to be changed just uh, replace this value and save it and start using it calendar will automatically adjust on the date and it will start showing the date as per your input right so uh, these are the inputs which uh, uh, are required you can go through the codes uh, these are the codes which i have applied and validation color formatting tick box check uh, check mark uh, for two uh, uh, assigning colors for a two day date assign uh, color to selected date and uh, moving the date from one to uh, like one from one date to one month to different month and one from one year to different year so this is all about the code you can go through uh, you can easily identify what what is the purpose of uh, uh, all those codes right so let's uh, move to excel file and understand how it's called so as i already mentioned you that uh, you can call this uh, uh, calendar control uh, with uh, like in two different method so this is the method two, okay. So in two different method, I have already written uh, here, and I will provide the link of this file in description box so that you can go through this file and uh, uh, understand how can you use this. So let me quickly explain. Um, in method one, you can uh, call this function with parameters. So uh, like uh, I here you can see that I have called this uh, uh, calendar control, uh, uh, like call my calendar dot date picker and sheet one dot text box one so here i am passing the uh, text box one as a parameter you can uh, pass three different types of objects like text box command button and label uh, as a parameter and uh, uh, passing as a parameter is very uh, it's very useful because once you will uh, give the reference uh, of text box as a parameter then uh, that calendar uh, will automatically pick the date available in that uh, uh, that control uh, like that object so here 21st February 2019 is available in text box one. So once uh, and I am calling uh, this calendar with the uh, method one. So once I will click on calendar, then uh, calendar will start showing the 21st uh, February 2019 and there is a check mark available like tick, uh, tick, uh, green tick available against the date. It means it's showing that user has selected 21st because uh, 21st February 2019 was already available in text box, right? And now you can see that there is a, uh, uh, like 9th of February 2019 that is today date has been highlighted with green color okay so this is all about uh, uh, the text box and on command button you can like here it's 7th February 2019 so calendar once you click on calendar then you can see that 7th February 2019 has been highlighted with uh, yellow like uh, uh, light yellow color and uh, green uh, today date has been highlighted with green uh, uh, like 9th of February 2019 so if you want to change uh, the date from 7th to 14th, just click on 14th and now you can see that 14th of February 2019 has been assigned. 
again uh, you can also use the label as a parameter so I am <coughs> so click on calendar and here uh, 31st January 2019 so in this calendar the month is showing th uh, January and year to, uh, th uh, 2019 and you can see that 31st has been selected with the check mark right and you can easily uh, move to next month like February, March, April, May, June and again you can select any of the available uh, here as well and you can also select the uh, a month from the drop down so it's very easy like I am uh, I am selecting a date uh, from uh, like March 2016 uh, 18th of March 2016 so now you can see that 18th of March 2016 has been assigned to label caption so this is all about uh, method one where we are calling this calendar with parameter right we can also call this uh, calendar without parameter with method 2 you can go through the uh, method 2 example here and let me click on calendar but the drawback of uh, method 2 is uh, it does not pick up the date from the uh, uh, available uh, like uh, date available in uh, a particular object like here you can see that uh, 24 January 2019 is reflecting on command button but once I will click on calendar it uh, it uh, calendar does not pick the date from here it uh, will show a show the today calendar like uh, this month calendar like February 2019 and it will show the 9th February because 9th February is a today date is uh, has been highlighted with green color so if you want to assign the uh, a, a date just click on 14th like I am assigned 14th February 2019 so once you will assign to the 14th 2015 uh, 2019 then it, it will start showing the date basis of selection okay same goes for like label as well and as well as text box let me uh, go through the code like uh, just uh, keeping design mode just click on it and now this is uh, you can see that this is method one and uh, I have called the function my calendar dot date picker and uh, you need to pass uh, the object name where you want to from where you want to retrieve the date and from uh, where you want to update the selected date so it will uh, work both in ways it will get the date available date from this uh, text box and assign to date picker and again it will take a date from date picker and as reassign to uh, text box okay it's very easy it's a one line code you do not need to worry about that you need do not need to uh, write uh, multiple lines of code okay same goes for command button you just uh, write down <coughs> write down the one line of code and replace the uh, parameter with uh, command button the same goes for label and uh, for uh, method 2 uh, you uh, you can call this function uh, like my calendar dot date picker and in this there is a drawback because uh, so see it can't retrieve the uh, date from the uh, given uh, like text box command button and label it can only assign it can't uh, pick the date from uh, that control okay so this is all about the calendar control and I believe it will be very helpful if you are working on uh, visual basic uh, application and developing some automated tools and you need a uh, calendar control uh, in your project okay so I will provide the uh, link of this file in description box uh, just to go there and download the file and start using this tool and I will be ha more than happy if you will provide the, uh, your feedback <coughs> feedback to me so that I can improve so if you think that there is a room for imp improvement and you need some more features then uh, kindly uh, write email to me the data labs at uh, gmail.com and I will definitely uh, work on that and I will uh, uh, reply with uh, the updated tool right so hope uh, you enjoyed this video thank you for watching uh, please like share subscribe have a good day thank you bye bye